fellow travelers. Welcome to the Visit Thailand Travel Series. We get to uncover the beauty of this wonderful city. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the public transport and all the ways on how you can benefit from it during your stay. So in this episode, I'm going to cover all the ways of how you can use the public transport system here, the beautiful locations and routes to note. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to be sharing my personal tips and tricks to make your stay that much more comfortable. My name is Polly and welcome to Tallinn. Let's go, let's go. There are two ways of how you can arrive to Tallinn, either by ferry or plane. Now, I can imagine the majority of you will be flying in, and in order to get our travel ticket, we need to find one of these. These are called R kiosks, the newspaper stands, and you can find them everywhere in Tallinn. Now, the price of a single fare ticket is 1 euro and 50 cents, and it is valid for 60 minutes, which is more than enough time to get us to the city centre. Let's go! Yeah, we need to buy a ticket first though. I just need a single fare ticket, which is 150, yeah. Unfortunately, no single fare tickets were available, so instead I bought a smart card. More on this Tallinn's travel card later. Since we are at the airport, there are plenty of taxis available right outside the main terminal, and the average taxi fare to the city centre is around 10 to 15 euros. There are three different types of public transport in Tallinn, trolleys, trams and buses, and these tickets are valid on all of them. And today we're going to be taking the tram line number 4, which is the closest one to us, and in my opinion, one of the best ways to get into the city centre. The good bit about Tallinn's airport is that it is only located 25 minutes away from the city centre, which is 10 stops in tram language. Today we will be getting off at the city centre at the tram stop called Viru, which is the closest one to the old town. For now, let's just sit down and enjoy. Like in any modern city, in Tallinn you can buy single fare tickets or you can get one of these. This is the smart card and the way it works is simply top up your money on this card. You can buy it at any R kiosks in Tallinn and in my case I'll be getting it at InfoCenter. So we got our Tallinn card and a map as well which was free, lovely nice bonus. And the Tourist Information Centre is open every single day from 9 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock in the evening. Pop in here and get some goodies. At Tallinn Tourist Info Centre you can upload one free and five daily tickets only. However, if you don't know how much public transport you will be using, the best way to go about it will be just to simply upload money on this card. And the best place to do so will be at any R kiosks. Personally, I think that if you're in Tallinn for a short period of time and if you're staying in the old town and you will be visiting only the nearby attractions, you might just get by without this card at all. Here are a couple of things to note. Whenever you're buying this card, you will be paying a two-year deposit. You will be able to redeem your two-year deposit alongside the unused travel credit as far as the balance is less than 20 euros. Currently, there are six places where you can do so and our kiosk at Tallinn's airport is one of those places. As I've mentioned before, all public transport in Tallinn uses the same ticket system. A single fare ticket costs 150 and it is valid for 60 minutes. Regardless of the way you decide to pay for your transport in Tallinn, you will never pay more than 450, which is the price of a daily ticket. A daily ticket lasts for 24 hours, meaning if you have validated your ticket at 4 in the afternoon, it will be still active 4 in the afternoon next day. Whilst exploring Tallinn, you most probably will be using public transport to get from point A to point B. There is one route in particular that I really want to highlight and I think should be definitely on your radar. It is tram line number three and the route is from Old Town all the way to Kadriork. And Kadriork is Tallinn's most beautiful park and also home slash office to the Estonian's president. It's going to be beautiful. Let's go and check it out. Another great way to pay for the public transport here in Tallinn is by simply using your bank cards. And here are a couple of things to note. First of all, make sure that your bank card is contactless. 
Second of all, you can only validate your ticket by using the ticket machine that is closest to the driver at the very front door. And also, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the conversion rates of your bank since every single transaction is going to be in euros. What I love about this payment method is that it works exactly the same way as the smart card, meaning that your single ticket is going to cost you 150 and your daily ticket is going to cost you 450. This route is the only route on which you can ride the retro tram and we should be in Cardiac in less than 10 minutes. Let's relax! After this wonderful ride, I can't just help myself but tell you some cool facts about those retro trams. These retro trams are perfect replicas of the ones that were used in the 1930s. And I'm not quite sure if this is a fact, but retro trams are colored in blue, black and white colors, which are exactly the same colors of the Estonian flag, which is rather cool. These retro trams are slightly shorter and therefore much cuter. And inside you'll find wooden benches that are so cool to sit opposite each other. And this is something that you just don't see in Europe nowadays. There are only six retro trams in Tallinn and each one of them is named after a key Estonian figure. For example, there is a tram called Konstantin in honor of Konstantin Patz, who was Estonia's very first president, or Johan Leidener, who was Estonia's first commander-in-chief and who led successful Estonia's war of independence. The summer is finally here and honestly I cannot wait to show you more of this beautiful park and if this is something you're interested in please do subscribe there will be more goodness of Tallinn coming your way for now I'm just going to sit down here and enjoy my coffee cheers mm. Mm. Now, I can imagine that you have either bought the Tallinn card or you're thinking of buying one. The great bit about the Tallinn card is whilst it's active, during your stay here, all public transport is free for you to use. Just make sure you validate your ticket every time you use public transport. All public transport information as well as timetables are available online in three different languages and I'll make sure to drop the link in the description box below, so go and check it out. When it comes to using apps, I especially love CityMapper and Google Maps since they give out very accurate information and make my navigation so much easier. I personally have been using them on a daily basis and I've got only great things to say about them. So download, use them, it will be cool. In Tallinn, especially during summer period, it's a great idea to rent out a scooter or a bicycle. Tallinn currently has plenty of those red colored side roads that are specifically designed for bicycles and e-scooters, which I find amazing. And there are two routes to note. One that goes from Old Town all the way to Kadriorg and another one from Rotterdam all the way to Noblesner. Both are beautiful, picturesque routes and showcase a different side of Tallinn. So rent out a scooter and go on this mini adventure. It's going to be dope. And with Tallinn Cart, you do get a free hour bike rental for free with City Bikes. When it comes to using taxis in Tallinn, it's a great idea for short trips during off-peak. This way you get to save yourself a little bit of money and time. However, if you're planning to travel during peak times, aka 9 o'clock in the morning on work days or after 6 p.m. on Fridays and on the weekends, you're better off using the public transport. There is a great variety of local car rental services that focus on electric cars. If you would like to know a little bit more or if you have any other questions in regards to the public transport here in Tallinn, drop your questions in the comments down below. This is the first video in the series and I can't wait to explore the beauty of the city together with you. Welcome to Visit Tallinn and I will see you in the next video.